If you're an airline IFE manager, you're used to taking the occasional deep breath. However, if you're the IFE manager at El Al Airlines, you better get used to taking some very deep breaths because you're the man responsible for supervising a whole brave new world. We're talking here about the introduction of Wi-Fi streaming on board both narrow and wide-bodied aircraft. So take a bow, Mr. Tal Calderon, IFE manager at El Al, who's here today on the PME interview to talk about the introduction of Wi-Fi streaming. Tal, welcome to the PME interview. Nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, now, the last time we spoke was actually four years ago yeah. in 2010 at the TV market in Frankfurt. Correct. So, lots been happening since then. So, away you go, fill us in. What's the big news? We are going to be one of the first airlines with the uh, streaming system. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going with Lufthansa system we, and with the Board Connect, and we are going to use it uh, in our fleets. Uh, it's a real big challenge uh, to be one of the first airlines. It's, uh, it's not easy. Don't be the first ever. <laughs> it's not so easy. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into the details. First of all, which airline, which aircraft, I should say, which aircraft will be fitted with the streaming IP? Yeah, um, we are starting with uh, 737 and 767, uh, short haul and long haul. First, we'll, we will start with uh, four aircrafts, and then I believe that we will uh, expand it to 14 aircrafts. And will it eventually be rolled out across the fleet? Now, we would like to test it uh, on the air uh -huh. with 200 units, uh, iPads, personal devices, iPhones, whatever, and uh, to try and to see that everything is work properly. I believe that if everything will work properly, we will expand it to the rest of the fleets. Now, for passengers on El Al flying your 737 and 767 right now, what in-flight entertainment have they got at the moment? At the moment, they have uh, main screens, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I think, the system is on the way out. The passenger used to have personal screens, and uh, the technology, the IFA technology, is, as you know, is with VOD systems and uh, a huge variety of content for mm. uh, that the passenger can use and uh, we we are working on it something like uh, two years to find the best solution that will fit our budget and from the other side we try to see what is the future in the IFE uh, systems and we thought that this is the best solution for us so at the moment we will stay with the main screen with the main screen uh, systems and with the streaming system together. But looking further ahead, if you decide to take the main screen system off, how are you going to cope with a situation where a passenger either forgets their personal device or gets on board and they find that the battery on their iPad or their iPhone has run down and they can't watch? Okay, for sure we need to prepare ourselves to all of those situations. First of all, we are uh, we installed uh, inset powers okay. in most of our, our fleets, yeah. so he don't need to worry that he will run out of uh, battery or something like that. We know it's a different, it is, it's a different culture. We need now to go to a new challenge and to convince our passenger to bring their own devices, to use their own devices, and uh, uh, we hope, as we know the Israelis, that uh, they they will willing to do it because most of them have something smartphone, iPad, laptop, Android, whatever. We, are, we prepare ourselves for all formats. So I believe that we, uh, we prepare ourselves to give the best service to those guys and I hope that they will be managed and they will be willing to use their own devices uh, and to accept the new, the new generation. In deciding to go for Wi-Fi streaming, you obviously, or presumably, looked at the other option, which is fitting a seatback system. What, for you, are the benefits of a Wi-Fi streaming system compared to the conventional seatback embedded system? We took our budget and say, okay, what we can do with this budget? It is not 
too much. You know? And uh, but we need to see what is the best way and the best solution. From the other side, we would like to see not what is the next generation and what is the next next generation. What will be in in three years from now, four years from now, and uh, this is what lead us to uh, to decide that this is the the technology that we would like to to install in our uh, uh, systems. Of course, that the, there is the weight issue, which is it's mm -hmm. much lighter, and yeah. the system is much much lighter than embedded system. We I, I can give you an example when you have a 747 aircraft with embedded system. The weight of the system with the screen, with a very heavy screen, can reach up to 300 kilo, 400 kilos, and more even. Mm. Uh, the uh, uh, the streaming system is much lighter. And we all know what advantage it is. The early investment is, of course, much reasonable. And this was what led us to choose the system. From from other side, we insist that the, the system will be connected in the future to the internet, that the passenger will can enjoy also from connectivity right. and content. And I think that we find the best solution for it. Do you foresee any technical issues with doing the retrofit? I believe and I feel that most of the heavy technical issues were sorted by the provider, by Lufthansa systems okay. that provide us the system. So this is something that we are quite uh, uh, happy with it. There are always the small, small issues like the, the, the studio's approval and uh, 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 the CMS, for example, the content management, management system, that which is very important part of all of this issue and the fact that uh, the CMS has for example preview that you can see everything before the system is getting online and you can see it in your office right. and you can find all the mistakes all the uh, uh, wrong images or whatever things that you couldn't do uh, uh, in other systems this is for me was a huge advantage right. so we're really happy with it what about content? How much content will be available for passengers? Of course, that there are some issues still with, with the Hollywood Studios. I believe that it will be sorted in the future. So, uh, but anyway, uh, our passenger will get uh, a lot of movies, a lot of TV programs, uh, a lot of Israeli TV programs, which are very popular for our passengers. And they really like it, and they, we have really a, a, Almost most of the, the, the TV channels, the Israel TV channels, are uh, uh, cooperating with us. So we will have also many, many TV programs, games, music, e-books, audiobooks, almost everything that you can have in, in, in a VOD system. And all delivered by a streaming system. Yes. Correct. Now, looking ahead, uh, you're obviously a very innovative airline. You're taking a big leap of faith in installing this. Good luck, by the way. Thank you. Uh, any other products on the market now which you've seen recently which um, interest allow? To choose the streaming system took us something like a process of two years. There are uh, many ideas. We are using also the, the, the iPads, the blue box in our uh, aircraft. Mm -hmm. It is a great uh, product. Our passengers really like it. They, uh, they are using it a lot. We are operating ourselves internally the company, so uh, we don't have any specific problem with it. There are some uh, solutions, but uh, uh, the passenger will always look for uh, uh, you know, the traditional uh, system right. that he has it on, on his seats and he can use it for all the flight. In the future, Tal, just to finish off, when you're ordering a new aircraft, say, in the future, which will come presumably with an embedded system. Would you ever consider having a, a streaming system along, running alongside a conventional embedded system so that people have the choice they can either watch the seatback screen or their personal device? I believe that uh, this is the future. So I believe and I hope that this, the, the Board Connect and the other streaming system will take their place in the IFE uh, industry, and I believe that this is the next generation. So I hope and I think that in the next aircraft that we will buy, when and if, uh, I believe that we will prefer to use the swimming system.
the streaming system. Yes. Really? Wow. Well, you're a brave man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, look, we are after a very long process. We, uh, we have learned the system uh, from all sides. It looks a great idea. It looks a great system. Uh, the big question mark is how it will work in the long run mm -hmm. and how the passenger will accept it. Well, Tal, I normally end my PME interviews by saying good luck, but in this case, I really mean it. Good Th luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Coming up, Steve Harvey brings you another informative and interesting interview with a leading professional from the ranks of our in-flight entertainment industry. Don't miss it. That's next time on the PME Interview.